Make a motion to amend. amend the agenda. Oh, do you say what? You okay, say? and um, to two things. One, for new business, I, we need to talk about who we're, who's going to do the report for 2022 that's due on January 31st, and then um, I would like to add discussion about attending county commission there's meeting. I have a motion to approve. My second. Okay. So I motion to you yeah. yeah. Anybody have any paper? So no all in favor? Uh oh. Aye. 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 Um if there's a member present, which I think Ashley is online, you'll have to take Aye. a you can't do a voice vote. You have to do a roll call vote. So each, you would say each member's name and then have them vote. Okay. Uh, I can do it if I can remember all of your names. Sorry. No, it's fine. Julie Hardesty? Aye. Maybe Williamson? Aye. And Francis Fitzgerald, I will do. Susan Hingle, aye. Susan Hingle, aye. Molly, aye. You have to say my name, Maria Jabla. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Ashley Hazelrig, aye. Uh, aye. Okay. okay. Motion passed. Okay. Um, Any opposed? No. I'm not going to do that. Why are you from the meeting? Any abstention? There we go. Oh, boy. Okay. Look at you. Good job. Okay, so we can't have minutes, but I know if you don't have any minutes, I'm passing the ones even though it's on the agenda. I can't even, I don't even know when the last time we had an official meeting was saying actually probably before we were all here. Um, the next order of business is the chair report, which technically we don't have a chair. So um, since I'm calling, I'm facilitating this meeting, um, I'm just gonna say. We still have three vacancies on our seat. I'm not sure if they are sitting anywhere in council or on with the board of commissioners, but please make sure we get people to apply. If we know of anybody, um, it would be so much better if we had four boards, so we wouldn't have to worry about four all the time. Um, um, actually, go ahead. if I interject, I'm sorry. Um, before you get too far into the agenda, I do have an update that I wanted to provide the commissioners or to the to you commissioners um, that occurred yesterday at the board of commissioners meeting. Um, the board of commissioners yesterday, um, they passed an ordinance that revised the membership requirements for the women's commission. Oh, okay. It reduced, and I think um Angie Purdy might have alluded that this is going to happen in an email. Yes. Um, so it reduced the number of commissioners from 11 to 7, which means there'll be, a, we're, I, I got to talk to Miss Purdy about um, what the breakdown is and who's the, la the last standing vacancy. But that should help you guys with the quorum issue because now with a um, membership of seven, you would only need four present to have a quorum. Um, the, the amendment also removed a residency requirement. There was in the current or in the, before it was amended, there was a requirement that only a certain number of commissioners on the women's commission could live within the corporate city limits. So we just removed that language. So, so to clarify, uh, there's only one vacancy and I think it might be the Board of Commissioners employee appointment vacancy. I will have to check with them to see. Yeah. So, and this is in effect now? It went into effect yesterday. Yeah, right. um, okay. And what it also did, what it also did was it removed the um, joint commissioner city person from um, the- Yeah. 
Sorry. Oh, I'm removed. It, it takes that members out of the membership requirement. You can still attend, Ashley, obviously. Oh, but I'm no, we're no, we no longer have the voting seats. Correct. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. And I mean, it happened yesterday, or I would have let you guys all know before now. <laughs> and Ashley, I think just for your edification, I think that that was recommended and passed because we're having to change our meeting date and it might conflict with yours. Yes, I noticed that it may end up being the same exact time as our meeting. Right, so I think that's why that happened because it it's definitely nothing personal. We definitely want to have a relationship you too. with the city. We want to have a relationship with the city. Of course, of course. And, and we we want to maintain the very important relationship with the county commission as well. Um, out, offline, we may need to come up with, with some way to maybe uh, exchange written reports with each other to, to be presented at each other's meetings or something. That sounds great. So it's actually considered a non-voting member. Yeah, she considered just a non-voting attendee. Yes, I would say attendee. I mean, officially, I mean, now that it's not official, but I don't, you know, what happened. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Molly, can I ask you if there were plans to communicate that to anybody at any? time the um uh to communicate the passage you're cutting out but yes to communicate the pass of the uh the uh ordinance you are uh -oh. Yeah, it just happened yesterday so they had asked me to just convey the information to you today Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay, so that changes a lot, which is awesome. Yeah. Four feet. Okay. So, um, can we, I think we can move on to continuing business at this point. Um, do we need the commission expectations? I don't know. I'm, I'm new. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know, obviously we had talked about in the past about committee or commission expectations about attendance, untimely communication, and setting a proxy. And I think what the, um, and then it was with Michelle. We had a meeting about that and just talking about um, obviously designating a proxy. You can't come here. We can't do. You're only allowed, what did we decide? Like two, you know, we, it wasn't official actually because we were, we didn't have a form of that meeting. So about how many meetings we can miss before we get asked, because we can all do that. So I think maybe once we get a chair, the vice chair, secretary, hopefully, well, we have a full commission now, technically, that we should all discuss that next month, probably. Um, setting that groundwork would be a good thing. Um, because oh, in the hybrid meeting policy, we can decide what I don't remember what we discussed at the time, but I think that's also there's some regulation that you can't. It's Molly probably knows about being a voting. You can't miss, are you only allowed so many times we can be hybrid or something? Molly, do you know? Yeah, so the electronic meeting policy allows you to attend two consecutive meetings um, virtually. And then you have to have a break and attend in person before you can attend another virtual meeting. Um, with that being said, there are exceptions that would allow continual um, virtual uh, attendance. And those exceptions are like illness, sickness, um, uh, military leave, um, bereavement, things like that. So, but the, the quorum is in person, right? 
to have a quorum, you need 50% of um, seated members in person. Thank you, Molly. That's really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's any of the stuff that I. Understand. See, I, yeah, I don't think that the uh, the online meeting, yeah, the hybrid that. meeting, was in here. But there was something about two missing two meetings without good cause. Period. Would, would yeah. And if it would help, I can send you all um, like a refresher on open door law and the hybrid meeting. And I have, I just acquired this week, like um, thing, a booklet on helpful tips on how to run a meeting. Oh, um, So I can scan all those documents to you. That would be so helpful, Molly. Thank you. You're welcome. That's great. Yeah, because we have our, like our chapter staff from 230. 230 and 268 and we have a review but not it doesn't it doesn't sound like it's going to be as concise or maybe current even yeah yeah i can i'll provide a more current update thank you very much should we move on to the yeah. yeah. so i think uh, our first um Oh my gosh, what's the right one? Thing of business. Order of business. Order of thank you. Of course, the regular should be the nomination of the election of a, a chair, ideally a vice chair and a secretary. Um, do we have any motion or any nominations for commission chair? I nominate to me. a second. <laughs> Roll call. Roll call. So, any other nominations? <laughs> you should be great. Yes. <laughs> uh, Julie Hardesty. Uh, all right. Nikki Williams. I was approximate, yeah. Yes. Susan Mingle, I guess I. Molly Otto. I. God, every time I do, I just call the audience, it's like overwhelmed. Blank. Maria Douglas. <laughs> Maria Douglas. I. <laughs> Can you write that down? <laughs> no, no, it's not a matter of no, no, I know. No, you just. Blackout for all right. Okay. So what the name? All in my Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carried. Congratulations. Um uh, should we we have any nominations for vice chair? And so to me, well, we can talk about the goals. The role of the vice chair? Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about it? No. When it is. So I think it's just support to the president and to be able to step in as the president is needed, or the chair, and this chair is needed. To me, because all the work should be rather equally distributed amongst the commission. Mostly to me, I think it's just about either. Um, Working with you know the the government with the president and or the chair and then um, you know being able to make the agenda and um, hold the meeting and then so that way the vice chair can support the chair in their absence. And yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay. And secretary. And secretary takes minutes. I don't know what else. Definitely the minutes. Do we have it? Are there role definitions that they can have for us? I don't think so. I think you get defined. Okay. I didn't know that they had a Not that I know of. No, not in any of this information. The vice president may uh blah blah. The vice president may act in the capacity of the president in the event the president's illness or incapacity. The secretary of each board or commission shall prepare minutes of the meeting, which shall be provided to the secretary to the Monroe County Board of Commissioners immediately after their adoption by the board or commission. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have? Any nominations for a question? I nominate Maria Douglas. <laughs> hey, what? I second. 
Canada nomination? On paper. Oh, on paper. Maria Douglas. Oh, Maria Douglas. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Julie Hart. I'm in proxy of Tiana. Nikki Williams. Susan Hula, I. Oh, yeah. I. Maria Douglas. I can't vote for myself. Why can't you? Can. I did. <laughs> oh, I think it's great to vote for yourself. All I'm going to say, all right, we all, I, I, all, um, already forgot those. Uh, any opposed? Any abstention? With that passes, the vice chair is now Ms. Maria. Thank you. Okay, and the secretary. Do you have any nominations for secretary? I uh, second my second. Oh. Oh. Um, do we have to see? I call vote. Nikki? Ah. Uh, I'm going to the Oh, good job. <laughs> I. Uh, that, uh, any, what did you, any votes? Any extensions? That motion passes. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, I want to Okay. So, uh, we have, uh, we have okay the girl coding can't wrap up. Um, we should talk about. I don't necessarily know how we should talk about that. I don't know what we know, what we don't know. I know I have access to the drawings of my show notes for notes, but I haven't really looked at everything. Yeah, I don't know how. I mean, my thought is we need to we'll start planning for that immediately. In you know January and February already. I can um, since I I went to the committee meetings and was pretty active on that. One, I will report out on what I know, and then two, I think Tiana and I because Tiana the Luddy School was oh, yeah. a, a, a venue. I think Tiana and I can kind of take responsibility for that part because we were involved in it the process this year uh, for twenty two, uh, of course. Oh, Susan, you can do snacks again, though. That was great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm, just, okay. I'm seriously kidding. <laughs> um, so, and if I can interject, I think it would be beneficial um, once you really get into the planning process for the girls' coding camp for mm -hmm. um, maybe to your chair and vice chair to schedule an appointment with county legal because um, I think that we realized this year after talking to Nichelle about um, Girls Coding Camp, that we need to have memorandums of understanding in place with the community partners. So we'll have to um, work together on getting those memorandums drafted. And I think it's just easier to knock them all out if we set up an appointment and go through them one by one. Sure, we can definitely do that. And and it, getting those MOUs won't be an issue with the, with the partner. Memorandum of understanding. Mm -hmm. And who does that go to? So action item will need to set up set that up. And so that be and um, you'll need to give yourself enough time when we write those MOUs. Technically, the board of commissioners will be signing them, so we want to have them written and approved by your commission with enough time to be presented to the board of commissioners for their approval. Thank you. Um, this happened in September. It's all coming back to me now mm -hmm. for a minute. Okay. Uh, so it happened in September. We started meeting. I mean, literally, we had two meetings because they have the curriculum, the county part or the county, the partners being the Luddy School, um, MCCSC, and, and RBB. They are and Ivy Tech. Those were the main ones. They all already knew the process. Um, so and we had the curriculum. Um, already in place. So I don't anticipate it being a heavy lift because the past commission did do a really good job of, of creating that and carrying it out. Yeah, for 2022, I believe we had around a total of about 23 participants out of the three, and you know, that includes all three venues. Um, they met for a total of five instructional 
days. MCCSC and RBB were right after school. Oh no, not, MCCSC actually went to the mill. So the mill was right after school, RBB was right after school, and then Luddy was a Saturday, which that was the first time they had ever done a Saturday. But Luddy, I think, was very popular, a very popular um, venue out of the three. Um, I think the mill was not so well attended, but I also think we can do a really good, uh, a better job of one, now that we have a full commission, but we can do a better job of marketing and, um, you know, encouraging participation. So that's specifically for middle school age girls or those who identify as females. Um, and then the sixth, <laughs> the sixth um, session we had at the mill, it was lovely. It was under attended, if you ask me, but also terrible it was weather. terrible weather. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, I think that I would love for the all of us to be a little bit more involved and go to, you know, visit some of the venues and create relationships with the attendees and, you know, things like that. And I think that would really help. Um, but uh, we had it at the mill, we had a panel of speakers, which included people from the city and Jane Martin, and I mean, it was it was lovely, yeah. Uh, catered by Rolly Poley, and uh, the uh, participants were able to come, bring their um, devices, or the mill had devices, and they showed us their websites that they created, and they were able to pick what their topic was. There was um, World Hunger, there was something that was similar to face, uh, like a similar to a dating app, but similar to Facebook, where you could just make friends and be almost like online pen pal situations. It was so, and, um, you know, they had did all the coding for it. And so it was really cool to see. And so I think we could, I think the past commission is, and, and committee has really set us up and really, uh, you know, has created something, a nice template for us to work with going forward. So that was with, a ten thousand dollar grant. Mm -hmm. Do we know the life of the grant, the cycle, the reporting of that? I don't know any of that stuff. I'm sure it's in a somewhere. Molly, do you know? Oh. Huh. Huh. Well. I guess we'll find okay. out. Okay. Yeah. So that may be, that's a so, probably, maybe a question for Angie even. Who's Angie? Angie Purdy. She's the assistant to the board. She's the admin yeah. of the commission, the Cali commissioners. Administrator. Okay. So yes, we'll find that out. That's a good question. Because we, the thing is, though, even if we don't have that money, we have so many um, swag items and items that we used left over that even if we don't have a huge budget or don't have that grant, but we do need to pay. We like to pay our IB tech partner because he he's kind of the administrator, superintendent, if you will, of kind of the whole curriculum. And then also the, uh, what am I trying to say? You have them. Interns? No, interns, yes. Oh. I'm like, I have them? Like, no, I, know I, I, I just know you have, yeah. Yeah. so some of the interns from the Lully School. Oh, that's right. yeah. Since they travel to yeah. RBB and yeah. 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 all that. So we need yeah. to have a little bit of fun. So we'll find out about that grant, and then if we need to do any fundraising or whatnot, um, yeah, we can we can do that. Can I say something? I I wonder if um, just as we're kind of thinking about it, developing some just for future years as well, developing some kind of um, uh, template or calendar for girls going to coding camp. Right, in January. These are the things. Yeah, you do, right? like a process document. Yeah. yeah. 
so that it carries on year after year, whether we're here or something. And not that I don't know that that doesn't make sense. It might, but, but if not, let's get it. I'll, look, I'll, I'll take that on. Okay. Okay. Do you have Texas? Right. I do have the drive. I, yeah. So eventually, too, I'm going to copy all that out because not everybody, you're, you know, because we're not administrators of that account. Oh, right. That and so I'm going Michelle and Michelle can't pass it off to me because I asked her. Okay. So I'm gonna have to take what I mean, we can do whatever we want, but I'm gonna move eventually copy yeah. it and move it to some place where it has sure. a link absolutely. Link. Yep, yep. Good. Yeah. Any other questions or anything about girls coming? Well, I just wanted to kind of open up discussion, right? About the people who attended and kind of what we thought. Like, did we have things that we liked about it or the things that maybe we thought, you know. We could do differently, or just kind of. I, I just felt like we should talk through it a little bit. Well, so we was, never really did. I know it's interesting, and I mean, obviously, Tiana would have a lot to say about yeah. it. And I know one of some of the feedback because I was on some of the emails about it from some because I was the staff person, which was a great, very important role. It was a very important yeah. role. I, I, I did a part. You did a great. You did a great. I served. I have a very. Yeah. Whatever. But so I think I did feel I think some of the feedback that I asked the buddy or I heard like from I think the buddy students was that they didn't feel I don't know who it was to be honest but like that they didn't feel like they had good direction or communication with the women's commission and again you know I don't know what that he just kind of sent it in passing in an email and I didn't you know the follow up but. So more, more communication with the women's well, yeah, and I would definitely say, or to up, yeah, and, and then attending, we never went. I mean, just so definitely things like that. But yeah. we all, none of us were involved in that hardly at all, really, because right. yeah. none of us were here. We never got a form. Like there's, yeah. So, but it is interesting because, like in the in all the minutes that I read, I mean, it has changed hands over time. So it's been like, because it was with Ivy Tech and it was somewhere else, and now it's landed here, which is really interesting. And the grant was just last year that they had. So, I don't know. Yeah. Yes, sorry. For me, I think, for me, that piece takes care of it. What I was, all the things that I was thinking too, that just being more, you know, hands on and, and, and it's not a matter of control, it's a matter of being involved and creating those relationships and, yeah, and things like that. Well, and I, I appreciate earlier when you mentioned, and this was something that I thought of too, is just um, being new to it, was I was just like the marketing, right? Where I was like, I, I, I kind of feel like we should be seeing this everywhere and I'm not. Yeah. yeah. So, and that might just be also, all of us kind of getting more involved and then using our networks and kind of being able to disseminate the information in various forms so that intendants can can go up which is kind of the goal right right and then when everybody's more you know if we, you know involved in the situation then we're we feel more we can talk about it yeah. and not just be like, here's this flyer, let's fly it. I don't, and, you know, so we feel a little bit more connected to it. We can talk about it well. And, yeah. It's crazy. Well, and I also appreciate the idea, or you mentioned it, I think that's what you meant, Maria, is, is even, you know, maybe, I, I know it was opened up several times and the timing didn't work for me to, but even to go and attend some of the different yeah. sessions so that we, you know, all the girls at the hooting event like were brand new to me, but I can imagine if I had attended and met, like, I'd be like, well, I mean, like, did you figure this you out? Like, like you, know, you know what I mean? Just get in. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, it was really, they really, the, the past commissioners really did yes. set, set it up. Yeah. <laughs> for, you know, a great template and we're just going to, yeah. Agree. yeah. So. Okay. Anything else about that? Okay. So do we want to talk about the meetings? I feel like the dutiful result. So that is officially, I mean, according to the beautiful, it was our meeting starting in January is the first 
Thursday of the month at 5 30 in the Nat Hill room. And now that we are quarter is different and Ashley is off and uh, Jennifer, I guess, too, right? Then how do we feel? I mean, I still have to say first Thursday. I thought it was the third. It's the first Thursday. Yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah, she was. She was. Yeah. So Jennifer should still attend, I think. I hope so. Yeah, because that's why we did it. Oh, we moved it for no reason. Right. <laughs> Jennifer's had a standing meeting for the last four months at this night. Um, yeah, right. But when it changes, it should be. Yeah, that's what we were hoping is to encapsulate her schedule. As Thank well. you, Ashley. Yeah. yeah. Can uh, someone clarify what the Nat Hill room is? <laughs> so it's in the third floor of the courthouse on the square? Third floor? Third floor? Second floor. Second floor. Sorry. Second floor. I don't know. <laughs> it's a upper. Two floors or three? That's the first three. Yeah. It's a big room. Where they ever. I think it is. Yeah. Which means you'll get to be Not just. So, second or third floor of the park. Yeah. So, January 5th is going to be our first. Yes. I mean, and, when, and again, because I got it in the thing, in the um, email that I was really against first Thursday because I didn't want to ruin, you know, being able to attend, <clears throat> you know, with Ashley and us, the, you know, between yeah. the city and the county. And I'm glad that, because I finally got to come to your one last one, Ashley, where they presented, and that was really amazing. Are you referring to our capstone class? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, we did, you been... like them? did you like it or no? Did I what? Their findings? Did you like the report? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that the report is incredibly valuable. We've been working with, this is our second class of capstone students. Um, we've been working with um, IU um, through these capstones to help us. I don't know if they gave you much background on it, but um, we're looking for um, better survey data on, on what women in the community need. Um, and so uh, we just deployed, they made, they created and deployed our own survey, uh, which we were able to kind of pull some, some very impactful data um, and, and hopefully be able to, to craft some uh, legislative uh, recommendations for not only the city, but also at the state level if possible. Who is that presented by? I'm sorry? Who, who presented the survey information at your meeting? Oh, it's an IU uh, graduate capstone class. And O'Neill, right? In SPIA? Yes, correct. Thanks for the minutes, thank you. No problem. Yeah, and to Susan's point, I also sent an email requesting that we revisit that because I don't want to lose that relationship with the stat with the city's status on women. Um, but I, what was the answer? I think the answer was like it. You don't have a choice. Yes. You guys can see that. Response. Say that again. Can you summarize it again? Remember, I had sent an email. We both communicate separately, communicating yes. that I would, well, I want to revisit our meeting time because I want, I want to be able to attend the city status on women meetings if I want to, or, you know, and, and I want them to be able to attend ours for the purpose of that relationship. Well, interesting information. And, and if I may just give a point of information, um, over the years, because I've, I've been with the Women's Commission now for almost eight years, um, <laughs> there's always been kind of this conflict. Um, at one point for a long time, not one point, but for a long time, um, your meetings were in the daytime, uh, which were not accessible to a lot of us because we have, we I for one work in a retail space, I'm a banker, so middle of the day, does not work for me um and we've got some other people that that it just doesn't work um so it's it's always been a difficult one for us to even fill our voting seat and now that it's not a voting seat 
Um, I, I still don't take it any, any less lightly that we need to be able to be present and engaged in what each other's doing so that we can be an extra pair of hands. Thank you. Um, so can, just for the clarification in the minutes, when is the meeting for the city status on women? When is that? The first Thursday at 530. Yeah, exact same time. Um, but when the doodle poll went out, there were only certain times that were selected for us to select from, which I didn't realize that that was, I mean, in my brain, in my new brain, my newbie brain, I didn't realize that was even a thing. Like we had to worry about, you know what I mean? Like that we were conflicting with other things. I thought we could have a meeting, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't think about Molly, you know, or maybe it's Molly present or whoever, but I didn't know. So now our meeting and their meeting attend, uh, occur at the exact same time. So we can't really attend each other's meetings. However, we can. Um, pass the meeting notes or present the meeting notes together or maybe have a point person from each yeah to, uh, like ashley said earlier i think offline we can figure yeah. out that process if that if we don't have to like motion or vote on it yeah um yes. so okay and then we'll get get the process down in the minutes of a meeting yes i think that's what we'll Thank you for everyone's patience because we're all so new. Right. You're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> so that um, wraps up our continuing with uh, our new wait. I don't, what was your uh, is, uh, part of new business? Is new business okay? So do you want to start new business off with your? Yeah, tools? let's get these knocked out, and then we can do the goals because these are more um, con uh, concrete. Uh, okay, so I read in these in the bylaws or whatever these are called that um, we need to report out to the commissioners, to the county commissioners, or or submit a report to the county commissioners by January thirty one of what we did in twenty two. So basically, we had one meeting. No, I'm just saying. I mean, that might one be meeting with form. <laughs> and girls coding camp. So, uh, but anyway, we'll sure. uh, we need to figure out who's going to do that, and when you know, just make sure that person is supported and has also you know the deadline in mind. And uh, Molly, did we lose you? No, she no, we lost Molly. Yeah. Okay, so we need to figure out what format if. They want, you know, yeah, I'll figure out that. format. Okay, I've been happy to do it. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. And so you'll figure out the format and then we'll just help you put together the report. Yep. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Hi. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. So, okay. And any questions, comments about that one? And then, um, oh, it says and expenditures, activities and expenditures. Well, we'll so I can, I can help with the girl. I have, we have the girls coding camp expenditures. Okay. Um, okay. And then I also wanted to talk about us rotating who actually attends the county commissioners meetings on Wednesdays. I think they meet every Wednesday at 10. There's always you know, the online 10 a.m. Which I have publicly commented You can go about. and be, is it still on Zoom? Yes. Oh, okay. So usually, except for this week, which I didn't go to because that was something that I didn't watch, of course, it was just a meeting that would have been great. Okay. Um, but yes, so if they're, you know, usually I'm at work and it just happened on my <laughs> It just happened in my back. But yes. Okay. If, if we could come up with some schedule, then I would say how we can go and we can do that. Just some rotation, and yeah, if we if if we have decided that we need to we should report out or just comment or just you know um, 
this observation initially or observation the land, right? Yeah. What's happening? Um, is that something that we want to figure out now, or do we want to do like a sign up genius where we just put it all out and everybody kind of signs up or what? I mean, I think that I think that could like be a good, good way to if that's legal. Is it legal? I mean, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so, well, yeah, because it's not it's yeah. for a yeah. goal for us. So, it's, yeah. Okay. We're going to assume it's legal until somebody. And we can report on it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, oh, I can do that. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Okay. I'm a school, like I'm teaching school, and I'm talking about stuff. Are you taking notes about this whole thing? I'm taking notes for myself. Do you yeah. take notes? You, are you a note? Are you? I do. do I, I take down notes just so I like it. You know, like yeah. stay in the brain. Thanks. So may I contact you? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, yes. Okay. So then that's all of the amendments that we approve. Okay. So you, what you had a thing on here though is about holes. Yeah. Well, I think it's really interesting since we, well, we won't meet every month. I mean, we won't, won't be another month before the meeting. There'll only be a couple. And now that they've shh, drunk our voting, it's great. So I feel like we can be a very small but very powerful go getter kind of. And I think we're all go getters. We all want to do stuff. And so I think for me, it's just trying to figure out what that means. Like, to me, it's. Ginormous, and I don't know. You know, Ashley what, can help us to find some ideas, or she can find ideas. Of ways. What they have done, I was so jealous of even hearing about. You know, the capstone project they have done for the city and the, the county, and you know, trying to be, is, it, is it you know identifying what issues that we think we should be concerned about, and what does that mean? Does it you know do we want to invite speakers every month, which we could regarding whatever issues that we want to do. I just don't know what that, how we want to do this and what we want to, what we could do here. I would like to say that um, I don't want to double do what the city does, but we could, I think you're alluding to doing what the city does for the county. Yeah. Um, and I think that it's not us that decides what the county needs. I think we need to find out right. the county what the county. So somehow we do need to get out some sort of survey. I don't think it necessarily needs to be fancy, but I think that's something that we need to ask the commissioners to help us with. Like, how do they contact people? Because that's a that would be an issue, um, you know, with email addresses or whatnot. But but I somehow I want to find out from the county's emails, you know, those that identify as female, what it is they want or need. And so I don't know if this is relevant or a lot. Julie and I are both involved with the Monroe County. Yes. 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 Thanks. Thank you, Ashley. I mean, and I don't know what we've done and now. So Ju Julie and I are both on the board of the Monroe County National Organization. Women. And so to me, there's a possibility for a partnership there or some kind of, you know, whatever. I don't know what kind of information we've had access to or that we've done in the past or we would be willing to support or. Yeah, I mean, well, the, you know, that organization has its own mission. It's got core goals that it's trying to, you know, it's trying to focus on. So it may be a little bit different than what we would be yeah. doing here as a commission, as a county commission. Um, but. You know, the reason I can say, like, personally, the reason that I came on this commission um, was I saw that it was something where this this group can make recommendations to the county uh, for, for things that need to happen to support women in the community. And my first thought was, you know, SB1 is is putting women in a very, a very tight <laughs> sorry, situation. <laughs> You know, putting putting women in a very difficult situation, and what what can we recommend that the county do to support women? Right, and you know, for reproductive rights. I mean, that's that is seems like a good thing. Well, I know we're trying to figure out. I know, and I keep thinking about things like that too, in the sense of, you know, what is our goal in that? Mm -hmm. Like, what does that mean? Is yeah. that is there anything that we can do in response to see what is? As a county, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and I don't know the answer. Right. right. You know, to me, you know, I love. Um, gosh darn it, my brain is not working. 
you know, it's just trying to figure out what we can do, right? It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to spin the wheels on stuff that is out of our control and like trying to figure out what things we can do or is it motivating people or educating people? About SD1. Yeah, they, I mean, is that part of it? Too. Yeah, it could be just an educational role to say these are your options at this point. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, the, I, the in this document it says the mission is to advance the status of women okay. in all areas of county life and to champion women's contributions to local culture and society. Very broad and. What I've learned just about advocacy over the last year and a half or so is you can do whatever you want to do, I think. And so, you know, whatever we want to talk about, whatever we want to uh, research, whatever we want to do that advances. And we, we always, you know, just like in business, you always go back to the mission statement right. to guide your, your steps, right? So anything, you know, SB1 for sure, um, but I think if we want to say, hey, one of our initiatives is to ed bring education to the county about what the options are now, then that is something we can do. Yep. Well, women, I was thinking about women's hygiene. I don't know what the, I forget what the problem is. The period of poverty. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It seems like something to me that seems like something, yeah. you know, a part of it too, yeah. where we can match it. it. Yeah. Something else that I've been thinking about with the con you know, contemplating a new jail is um, supporting supporting women who are incarcerated. Like, what is it? Yeah. What, what are their needs? Or is that is a new jail? Is that being considered at all with any sort of new jail or improvements to the current jail and that sort of thing? Yeah. Want to make sure we uh, address. Ashley, did you have yeah. a question? Your hands up. Uh, I, I was just gonna say I I really commend this conversation that you're having right now around kind of like nailing down a, a, a direction. Um, one thing that kind of helped us set a direction to that led us to a lot of things, some listening sessions, um, the capstone that we're doing. Um, we had a, I don't know how you describe it, kind of a, a working retreat where we uh, kind of dug through what was the mission and what's in the bylaws and kind of identified a couple key areas, two or three key areas. And that doesn't have to be, um, it didn't need to be like restricted to, um, like if one of our key areas was, for example, like you were talking about um, education um, and then identifying one or two passion projects to do under that, um, then that, that was really helpful in giving us some direction on how we wanted to move forward and give some shape to not only our meetings, but, but what we do throughout the year and kind of planning ahead. Um, and if that's something that you'd wanna do, um, right. we do have a contact for somebody that's really good at leading some of that. So if that, if that is something you're interested in, let us know there's, um, like I said, some resources for that. Great, that's great, thank you. And then, of course, because of my new job, I'm interested in, you know, domestic violence and sexual assault and human trafficking in the county. Yep. And because as I've been thinking about this all day, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, you know, the isolation piece is huge, right, you know, in the county. And so that just compounds, you know, and so what resources do county, you, you know, Middleway House, can, you know, does serve six counties but really you know transportation communication what you know is there something close like at the grocery store that they attend you know whatever that they could so access to to services i think is what i was trying to say so to ashley's point i don't know how to how do, do we call it doesn't have to be a meeting meeting it can be a retreat a retreat is right yeah because we it. all have so many contacts, contacts, contacts ideas, that water on the floor, right? Yeah. I was just going to throw out my <clears throat> two cents of passion project for me is including and the inclusivity of trans women yes. um, in all spaces, right? As women, because that's who they are. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's something that I just want to speak out loud. Like, yes. I think real uh, Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. And please, um, if we are not paying attention to that, 
during how we're speaking, what works. But can you can you help hold us accountable to that? Absolutely. And I mean, I say that to all of us, right? In all areas, right? Thinking about all the different populations of women. And that's why we're here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thinking about all those different things and keeping our eyes on diversity, equity, inclusion. Yeah. Right? That's, that's, that's the thing. All right. Well, I love the retreat idea. I think if we could, that would be great. Like a nice big work session for us to yeah. like really talk about like what do we want to do? I mean, I think we. Yeah. Do we have to? Do we need to check in with the county about how we do something like that? I don't know if it came down. Okay, good. Sure. Do you want to give me anything that you want to share? Or you were just. Yeah, I just want to. I don't want to show her that I didn't say anything, but I know she definitely decides about recording. She was supposed to recreate that some of the more. But I know that um, she said there was one thing she said, well, I think we need to take the position as a secretary. But I can't quite because I'm going to get in. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. No, I was just going to say, just tell her that we love her and we would appoint her for every position. Yeah. But I personally know that she needs to. Yeah, she's she her plate's pretty full. Not the amount of full. Her plate's pretty full, so. So I did also want to put her uh, within that with uh, even as we learn and, and resources and a retreat is I I don't know how this person got my name. But their name is Jordan Teske Harrison. They are the director of the Indiana Commission for Women. It is a government organization. Um, I it didn't reach back out because she called me the chair already, but I, I don't know why. I don't know. So I don't know how that information got out there, but so I didn't respond until that was official. But I just want to say we have, I will be very interested because I am not, I never have been interested in creating the wheel. Because the wheels are even done, and somebody already has stuff for us, so that's that's what I want to find. Yeah, I know um, this is the first women's commission in Indiana, so um, it was. I think that's what Michelle told us. I think that's one of the resources that I said upon it found it uh, founding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know there's a couple other, but using the networking skills, and I started even doing some research. Uh, women's commission outside of the Indiana, just to try to see what people were doing. Like, you know, get, I mean, the idea of the work already done, like, I want to figure out how to do it or see what other people are doing, see if there's anything more stealing and amending to suit their needs. So just know that that's, that's what I like to do as well. I don't know much about them, but I have support for them. <laughs> So is that so I'm not familiar with exactly what they do, but no. So the Indiana Commission for Women is a is a government commission? Yes. You they not have to get that. So they're state. state, 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 state. Uh and Jordan Teske T E S K E hyphen Harris. And are there also women's commissions? You said there were others in the state. Is it like city and county? That there aren't very many. many. There aren't very many. Yeah. So, so we're on county, county to have a city one and a county. What if one of our missions would then help other counties set? Yeah. Once we're yeah. so there's usually a lot, you know, city has it. Yeah. We were the first county okay. commission of women's commission yeah. and then I think one is South Bend and one is I'm making this up. No, I think South there Bend. are two other city counties. County. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because we're county, so there's a usually a city okay. commission, but we're the first one to establish in the county. Okay. 
for the count. And then there's two others that establish for the count. But there are several cities that have commissions. Most, I think most, most cities, cities have. Yeah. Okay, all right. Or hopefully most. I, I didn't, I don't <laughs> think hopefully yeah. Wait, you don't even say what day it is. In the daytime meeting. So they have monthly meetings. That is, yeah. We have every, actually, it's not monthly. It's every other month. State, on the state level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the next one is January 11th and 12th of the month. Yeah, so we need to also find out what our responsibilities are, <laughs> our commitments to the state level, like reporting out. Yeah, and since Jordan already reached out to me, I will make sure I, I get back. That's yeah. cool. No, I just, I didn't realize that was, a, yeah, there was, maybe it was like a network. <laughs> so Susan, you're handling the Indiana mm -hmm. Women's Contact piece. Yeah. And then same thing, we'll report back, right? So yeah. Them use for next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, well, and probably not because well, it's the not. holiday. Right. We're not going to hear anything, It'll, but if I hear you. Yeah. So, yeah, because I mean, maybe they have their treaty ideas or the way that they can support them. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are at 6.35, just FYI. Oh, really? 5.37. Oh, really? Oh. Wow. Not that we have to go to 7. I'm happy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so, I... I'm really excited. I think it's going to be probably interesting for us to like kind of figure out how to best use our resources and picking. Yeah. Because you know, it's not gonna, we're not going to be able to do everything. Right. Yeah. I'd rather do two things really well yeah. and mm -hmm. 10 things meet like less than mediocre. Agreed. Yeah. Well, again, that longevity yeah. piece of like, oh, this is what I mean for our time on the commission. This is what they start. Like maybe other commissions will pick that up or, you know. Yes. Well, it is fighting for now. And I am, after especially all the things that I've seen so far in my other duties elsewhere, is I really, my goal in everything that I do is to make sure that I leave things better than I found it. So it is in the sense of making sure it is, it is something mm -hmm. that we can pass on. And it's not like someone is learning every time, which happens everywhere I go. And so, not now, I think we're good because it's all the same people still around. But, yeah. you know, but just that documentation and like that yeah. is so important. And yeah. I just, I've spent many years in disaster preparedness, and I can tell you I'm all about plans. So, um, oh, this is exciting. I'm so excited that we're actually, like, with them smaller, the yeah. board, though, know, like, yeah. Makes me sad in some yeah. ways, but also at least now we don't have to. Yep. Like, like yeah. to have a meeting. Yeah. No, I think this is better. Well, I think we're all we're all plugged in enough that again we bring with us like so much knowledge and networks and passions that I mean it just makes the work really like oh my gosh we, we really can just kind of choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's so interesting, and I don't know what the. Like, I don't want to say conflict of interest, but it doesn't feel like that since I'm also going to be the president of the local now chapter. It just seems it, to me that's why I don't feel so happy because they're, they're, you know, they're chugging along the same line. Yeah. Like, more, you know, parallels are and if there's relationships and resources that we'll be able to, you know, whatever I think would be great. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, same with the city, right? Yeah. No, I would, yeah, 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 absolutely. That's what I was going to say. If we could build this yeah. string, you know, this, what am I trying to say? Just these relationships and this whole, uh, you know, you take care of that, you, you're taking care of that, we're taking care of this, and we're sharing and all yeah. that. We're not all kind of siloed. We're actually all no. kind of like, okay, like, yeah. are we all like, how that is this yeah. working? Yeah. So we have our action items, right? So our action items really, I mean, besides the wrap up of the hearing report and, you know, working you know, on setting up a meeting with county legal to work on MOUs, um, which are not as relevant as they sound, class too. So they, um, and then networking with, 
Indiana. And then it, it feels like outside of, I mean, moving forward for projects, like besides keeping girls coding camp and all those things kind of going, is figuring out a survey or do we a survey to their people or so the retreat? I think we should have a retreat. Yeah, first. it's a retreat. So we talked about a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, I would leave it. Yeah. That means that, that way, time, we're not having gone yeah. through a whole work right. day. Yeah. 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 Maybe we're talking like four or five. Hours. Sure. Right. right. Yeah. Three to five hours. Yeah. Food is kind of yeah. yeah just talking through like what are we? I'm just like sleeping bags, pajamas, like everything. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, um, do, do you have any words of wisdom for us or any um, suggestions? And um, oh, love the inclusivity. Yeah. She said she was going to have a the content. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to have reach out to Angie. So my my thought too is because I like communication. It's really you know, anytime I reach out to Angie or Dina, it's I will, it'll all come from our you know, email. So we can all see. Sure. I'm not interested in gatekeeping information. If I do, because I apologize to the fans. But no, I'm not interested in not. For clarification, Angie is anybody to tell me what she does. She's the administrator. Yeah. City Council, County, 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 Remember, what was our word for today? Our phrase for today was I am. Oh, that's that one. So moved. Oh, I that's the time. Another action item is the set of genius yes. Yes. poll for who's attending the uh, county commission commissioners meeting ongoing. Yes. Right? And this is, you said it was every Wednesday? Every right? Wednesday. Okay. And if your job just does not allow for it fine that's okay yeah because i will probably always have it on in my office when i work because i can okay so i'm not i will i will say you know, if, if we, i yeah, yeah don't feel you know, yeah i think to me i mean besides that it's also coming up with the thing of how often are we going to go and talk and present what sure. we're doing and our emotions. But I think first it's getting our presence yeah. established, yeah. right? And I think it's great that you'll always be there, but I think it's also mm -hmm. part of it is like, yeah, we can all show up too sometimes, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She doesn't have to, she yeah. doesn't have to do it all right. the time. Right. Sure. Well, no, sorry. But it's fine. <laughs> but still, like, we all need to be participatory in that if, if it's possible mm -hmm. at all. And I think we should report at least. Probably once a month, right? Mm -hmm. Once a month, we should say something. Well, do, do, do they have requirements for that, or are they, are, are they expecting anything? Uh, we no, don't have to be yeah. 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 That's so, what they, I mean, there's a lot of all the time. Because the yeah. chamber goes, <laughs> and Ed Christopher reports out on, you know, the chamber or the legislative yeah. um, uh, advocacy mm -hmm. that the chamber that he does for the chamber and talks about events and things like that just kind of reports out there what they're doing and um, so I feel like we could do that once a month at you know after our meeting too to say we met. Oh, Jen Pearl with the Women and Economic Development Commission too. She goes sometimes. She yeah. goes too, but I mean she would. I know her too, so she probably has a good lay of the land about the survey of helping if she could help survey probably the mm -hmm. county. Or do you guys act? <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm just saying. But, um, yeah. 
That's all we'll have for the agenda. Yep. That's the agenda. Caleb, you have anything? Me? <laughs> There's no need for motion. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. I'll second. Thank you, everybody. All in favor, aye. aye. aye.